Donald Trump taking Hillary Clinton to task over her email scandal, attacking her honesty and her character in last night's debate. Now here to react, Fox News contributor Pete Hegseth. Pete, you think that that moment could be a game changer? I think it could be. I mean, didn't all of us kind of look at the camera and say, did she just, did he just say, put her in jail? Right. Uh, but, you know, this guy's been traveling across the country. And what are the, what are the crowds at Trump campaigns chanting all the time? Lock her up, lock her up. I mean, I think her, people are frustrated, Trump supporters, that it seems that the Clintons get away with a different set of rules, a different set of standards. She deletes 33,000 emails, but, but the fix is in and she's not, she's not, um, uh, punished for it. So I think he was, that was part of shoring up uh, and shoring up the sense amongst his people that he's going to fight and he's going to fight back. And he's going to point out the corruption of the Clinton. So I actually think it came off as effective, even if it, he maybe didn't plan to say yeah. it. Yeah, and then even with uh, Anderson Cooper, they went back and forth a little bit when uh, he was saying to Anderson Cooper, uh, why aren't you talking about the emails? Why don't you ask them about or her about the emails? Yeah, I thought the back and forth, even with the moderators, was helpful in setting this perception that, hey, even Hillary Clinton even gets help from these two moderators, just like she did from the FBI uh, with her emails. I'm dealing with a rigged system even here. So I think he litigated that uh, well throughout and, and pointed it out each and every time. Remember, of course, the death of Army Captain Khan came up during the DNC. Mm -hmm. Uh, big, the DNC, of course, they came up on stage, and then the week afterwards, uh, Donald Trump was vilified for going after the family and talking about them. And then last night during the debate, he said, look, Captain Khan would be alive if I were president then. I wouldn't have voted for the war. You did. A foreign policy spokesman for Hillary Clinton's campaign then went on Twitter basically and said, go F yourself during the debate. Here it is. Jesse uh, Lairick says, hey, at real Donald Trump, regarding your claim that Captain Khan would be alive if you were president, there you say. Go F yourself. Yeah. Not fringe yourself. Yeah, what do you think Not of that last night? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Classy response. He ended up having to back that, uh, walk back from that pretty quickly. Listen, I don't think they expected uh, Trump to counterpunch on the cons or to be as adamant on the Iraq stuff as he was. I mean, Hillary Clinton had to battle Bernie Sanders on the Iraq war in the primary. Now she's battling him on her judgment on the Iraq war. I think he, not only on that point, but Trump pivoted nicely to Libya and to Syria and to Benghazi and again to, to, to classified material in ways that put her on the defensive. So, yeah, you, hypotheticals about would you have died or not, I mean, are, right. are touchy, and I think all of us kind of step back from it and go, ooh, I don't really know, but he was trying to make the point that policies have consequences, and if you do, do invade or don't invade, different things are going to happen. It's interesting because we've been talking to a couple other people about how he handled the foreign policy issues, uh, and you think on that point, at least a couple topics, he handled well? Yeah, I do. I mean, he, he quickly moved away from whether he supported the war at the beginning or not to the abandonment and the, and the creation of ISIS by the vacuum that was created. He pointed out the red line, the line in the sand, as he called it in the debate. He talked about the Iranian deal. I think a lot of people were waiting for him to mention Benghazi, which he finally did, and Libya. So he talked about arming rebels. Hey, we're not just, we don't know these guys when we arm them. Where are the weapons going? Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of common sense stuff that I think a lot of Americans resonate. She talked the wonk speak, which sounds like establishment, which sounds like what we've been been doing and trying so far. So in that sense, I think he, he laid out a useful contrast that middle America is going to relate to. Yeah, it's the, the same line he used against Jeb Bush during the primary. He gets yeah. to use it all over again against yeah. Hillary Clinton here. Uh, Pete, That's great right. to see you this morning. Thanks so much. Thanks, Pete. Thank you both.